Aaron Kaufman on my right, and Mr. Sean Penn. Please welcome. It was very early, quite clear to us that uh, we were not going to let our film be a podium for transparent uh, deception and that that's all that Mr. Putin and the Russian Federation had to offer it. I, could, I, I think we would have been better served talking to, to a wall. Uh, we, this is not an unbiased film because it's not an ambiguous war. Um, Mr. Putin said far too much already. Is to remind the world, and particularly the U.S., about Ukraine and the problem. The Oscar is there in his office, and it's uh, ready to be melted any time he wants to melt it. That's a, 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 this was overcovered, um, a small gesture, uh, symbolic between two friends. Uh, in terms of the, uh, in, but what inspired that, it was a, it, my uh, continuing shame uh, 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 towards the uh, leadership of the, Acad you know, the Motion Picture Academy in uh, choosing to uh, um, present Will Smith smacking Chris Rock rather than uh, the greatest symbol of cinema and humanity living today uh, on their broadcast, their loss. The movie in the U.S., are you planning to show it in the cinemas or on the streaming platforms? And for Aaron... As we've heard so many times in Ukraine, and, and I think we all understand this here at the Berlinale, is that art is, ha, does have a significant role to play in building freedom, uh, in executing freedom. And so, really, my experience, my life experience with this is that I don't really differentiate between uh, those, those parts of the way in which I hope to stand beside people who are fighting for freedom. Fiction and reality and... It seems very clear that the, the word propaganda can be used, you know, in a, as a disparagement uh, Oh, what I would say as part of showing the truth of Ukraine's absolute unity in pursuing all those things that w without which life is not worth living, uh, then I'm very happy to be considered a propagandist and, and I'd like to, uh, you know, we made a very uh, uh, unapologetically biased film because that was the true story we found in Ukraine uh, from Russia was uh, justified, do you think? It's a very odd time when what the most significant humanitarian response that can happen right now is the delivery and supply of long-range precision missiles to a country under invasion, a country that, 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 that owns all of the, the dreams and aspirations that, as I've said in the film, that, that, that we all share, that all movies share, movies, uh, you know, about the, the better us, and we find that in Ukraine. You know, it's kind of like, how did it happen that it was uh, Liverpool, England, be the, the, be the Beatles came from, and it was the great communicator to the world's heart. And now what it is, it's uh, the, the, the Ukrainian um, embrace and courage. Uh, I think that Ukraine... Is the, is the world's Beatles right now. Uh, my, my name is Evelina. The first time we met face to face, I had said to him much earlier, I don't want you to uh, answer us about whether you're going to be open to us and give us access until you meet us face to face and we won't bring cameras. So our first meeting was on the 23rd. Uh, he decided for his own reasons, I guess, his uh, excellent discernment and, and trusting people, that he would uh, see us on the next day and we'd bring our, our little camera. And uh, then we went back to the hotel and that night the missiles started coming in. And what had been, a, you know, a head of state wearing a proper suit and a proper office, the next time we saw him he was in camels and his country was at war and he had already embodied, uh, there was a sense, a palpable sense, he said in the film that, and he couldn't have seen this coming, that he was born for this moment. 